Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I'm back with another sort of couple of updates for the Radio Code 101. Uh, there has been one software update since I made the last video and it fixed a couple of issues that had been raised by uh, the software issue about a month ago. Uh, one of them, I think the main ones that changed was it had um, nano sieverts and for a few people they didn't like having the nano sieverts when it was on very very low readings. Uh, so they've now given you an option to change back from nano sieverts back up to, up to you know to micro sieverts or millisievert. So that's been changed, and also the little glitch um, in the software when you try to update it via the phone, um, it would brick the device. Basically, that has all been fixed now. So they were very quick to fix that. Uh, I think that was a couple of days. Uh, they had that sorted, and then the new software out. Um, I've been reliably informed by the developers that the iOS app is still under production. They do hope to have it out, uh, but they will be coming out with something different just to bridge the gap. Uh, there's going to be a Windows application and I believe a Mac application. Um, when I say application, actually calling an application is probably the wrong thing to do. Um, it's basically you open it in a web browser, so you could do it through your phone as well. So it's going to be a web browser that then you can get data from the device on your phone. So if you have an iPhone, you can go to a web browser, go to a specific page and you can sign up for it. And then your device will be attached, obviously, to your phone via Bluetooth. I'm not sure how they're going to get around everything, but they're obviously smarter people than me. But it does sound quite interesting. So I look forward to seeing that. They're going to open that up for beta testers quite soon. Um, I'm hoping to be included in that beta test, so um, when, once I'm sort of signed up to it, I'll uh, let you have a quick sneak peek of that until it's, until it's out. Um, so the, the thing I wanted to show you today, other than talk about the updates, was the cases for the Radio Code. Now, I got this one, uh, I can't remember exactly remember, I think it was just before Christmas. It was just before Christmas or just after Christmas. And... It's obviously a, it's a carry case for the 101, but you can put it around your leg, you can put it around your arm if you're out jogging, things like that there. So nice enough little case, but if you just wanted to put it in your pocket, uh, it's, it's a, probably a little bit too bulky for some people. So this arrived today from Moscow. Um, I was actually really surprised because one, uh, I hadn't ordered it, uh, but the kind people who well, of scan electronics who make the radio code very kindly sent me one to have a look at uh, so thank you very much to them for doing that i'm not sure how this made it how, how this got here because i was under the impression that mail wasn't being sent from russia uh, so i would say to anybody who wants to buy a radio code 101 you may be in with a chance of getting one if you want to send them an email just to see. The payment might be the issue, but the fact that the postage service seems to be getting through here. Now, this was sent on the 18th of April. Uh, so it wasn't as if they'd sent it, you know, before everything going on in Ukraine. So, yeah, interesting that uh, it was able to get to me. But as I said, I'll put that down. So a nice little, I'm assuming... It does actually smell of leather. Um, I'd be very surprised if it is real leather, but it smells like leather, which is quite interesting. Um, but as you can see, it has a little Velcro opening for the radio code to go into. It has radio code stamped on at the top. Nice large viewing window. And there's two little cutouts here, which I'm assuming are for the notification LEDs. And yeah, then the charger then would be at the top. Belt loop at the back here. And then if you wanted to put a lanyard around it or put it in a key ring or something or a hanger, you've got it here, a belt hanger. Nice little case. Really nice surprise to get this because I didn't even know they had a case like this. I'll just give you a more a little bit of a close up here. Really, really nicely made actually. Um, it's, I'd say if you're out in a day that's slightly damp, uh, it's, you know, you want to dial it out of your pocket, but you don't want the display to get wet. So let's put it in and see what it's like. So 
reasonably yeah tight enough fit the uh, the tolerances on the manufacturing process were pretty good so they've got it reasonably tight not stupidly tight but look at that um, the window just goes just to the edge of the display and they've got a bit of clearance there and you can see the leds line up really well with the holes there on the top yeah that's a that's a really really nice little meter actually it's um i'm oh, sorry i'm gonna say a little meter that's a nice little case for the meter uh yeah it's nice as well it's you know it actually gives you a bit of you know if you wanted to you're holding it you could actually you know you could put your finger in underneath there um to give you a bit of grip um obviously if you want to put it on a belt loop or what have you or as i said before something to hang it on but it feels you know it's nice in the hand and it does give you a little bit it's reasonably smooth but there's a it's textured here where it's been um, sewn together um, so it does give you a bit of a grip and now you can you know not that you were going to throw it about anyway but you know you don't worry about putting it in a pocket now maybe if you've forgotten you had keys in there or coins and scratching it things like that there you know when i was i actually was using this um and i was finding i wasn't wearing it on my arm i wasn't wearing it on my you know my ankle or anything like that there i was just putting it in my coat pocket um and it was just so bulky you know getting it out and the velcro was getting caught in things and stuff like that i have a dog so it was getting covered in hair all the time as you can see there's there's dog hair on it this one here you know it's got the little simple loop and what's nice hook and loop obviously fastener and then you've got access to the charger there and um, i actually wanted to make this video earlier on and uh just as I hit record, the battery went flat. Uh, so I've had it in charge there for a couple of hours just to charge it back up again. Um, it is showing full battery now though. But uh, yeah, before I'd had it on for a couple of weeks and uh, the battery just decided to give up the ghost there when I went to record. But it's, I still, I love this device so much. Um, you know, it's, it's so handy. Uh, it's such a nice size uh, and you can just slip it in your pocket and away you go and um, yeah the, the the updates that they keep bringing out for this uh, just tell you that they care about this product and they want to make it as good as humanly possible there's some really really good things coming in the future they are continuing to take any ideas people may have on board and uh, yeah it's there's good things to come with the radio code definitely good things to come with the radio code and uh yeah so if anybody has like ideas for you know something they'd like to see with the radio code you know drop it in the comments because uh the developers do read um they are subscribers and they do read the comments and uh i'll make sure to let them know in that forum as well uh but yeah listen very sorry for the delay in making this video uh i had i have a couple of meters to do videos on uh, I was sort of holding off a bit until I got a few more items to show you. Um, but yes, I have a couple of meters to show you and those will be in the sort of very next video is going to happen really, really quickly. And I'm going to have that up. Um, I'm going to try to have that up on Sunday. Um, this video will be going out, uh, should be Friday when you're watching this. So I'll try to have the other video up for sort of Sunday, Monday, if I can get it edited in time, because I'm going to record it directly after this video ends. Uh, so yeah, but listen folks, as always, thank you very, very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.